tonight's cover story, school shootings and school threats. There's been a spotlight on these two crimes over the last few months across the country. And for some districts across North Carolina, it is changing the way they view safety. Cases of recent gun violence in schools include the mass shooting at Tuskegee University in Alabama over the weekend during a homecoming celebration. An 18 year old was killed and at least 16 others were hurt. In September, a freshman was charged with opening fire inside Appalachia High School in Georgia. Four people were killed, nine others were hurt there. After that shooting in Georgia, school threats spiked across the country, including here in the Carolinas. Districts like Caldwell, Cleveland, Gaston, Lincoln, even Charlotte Mecklenburg received threats that forced an emergency response. In South Carolina, law enforcement charged at least 21 minors with making school threats. Now, in North Carolina schools, weapon detectors are installed in multiple school districts, and now we know that that number is growing. I'll give you a map here to give you a better perspective. Cumberland County Schools installed weapon detection systems in several buildings in September. Just this week, both Davie and Brunswick County voted to install OpenGate. That's a walkthrough detection system with two standalone pillars. You've probably already seen these before because it really they operate a lot in stadiums, arenas, theme parks, even hospitals. Open Gates weapon detection systems also portable, which means schools can have them then at the football games, school entryways, or even have them for when students get off the bus. What the research leads us uh, to do is to have highly mobile uh, weapons detection systems that can be randomized and moved around so that no one really knows where they're going to be or when we're going to use them. Closer to home, Charlotte Mecklenburg and Hickory Public Schools installed similar weapon detection systems over the last few years. CMS invested in a system Evolve. It's pretty similar to Open Gate. Now, it's worth noting also that these systems, boy, they cost a pretty penny. Brunswick County Schools say two Open Gate units cost more than $40,000. CMS has invested several million dollars for its body scanners, which are currently set up now in 200 different buildings. We spoke with CMS students and parents back in 2022 when body scanners were proposed. For CMS, that proposal came after nearly 30 firearms were confiscated that school year. Some of us are trying to uh, get an education and some of us are trying to go off and make a life. And sometimes whenever y'all bring them, them issues to us, some people get hurt. I'm fine with body scan. Whatever it needs to be done is for the safety of our kids. Others called on parents to be more involved in their children's lives or go through their book bags at least. Now, when it comes to those schools in Brunswick County, the district says there's no single reason behind the decision to install the body scanners. The superintendent says it's all about being preventative and proactive. It's just a, an additional level of security. Uh, that, that's all it is. It's something that we don't currently have. And um, so, like I said, we're, we're always looking for ways to improve uh, the safety features for our schools and, uh, and the different aspects of our safety plan. Just yesterday, the Davie County Board of Education voted to install body scanners. The vice chair addressed the public before voting, saying members have been discussing this for a while with law enforcement. They say it's another layer of protection, something that's becoming more common as gun violence among children and teens continue. Fact of life these days.